Red is a symbol of good luck in many cultures. It is the traditional color for wedding dresses in China and India. But many cultures associate red with danger. This is why we see it on emergency vehicles and warning signs. Eight percent of the population is red-green colorblind. They can't clearly see the difference between red and green. Green is a color that makes people feel at peace, because it's the most common color in nature. The green in leaves and grass comes from something called chlorophyll. This word comes from the Greek chloros, green, and phylon, leaf. Green also symbolizes safety. Because of this, it's used in traffic lights to signal when it's safe to go. Blue is the most popular color in the world. More than half the world's flags have blue in them. Blue is also the most common color used by businesses. Many businesses use the color blue to represent them in logos and advertisements. This is because blue helps us feel like we can trust them. Orange gets its name from the fruit. The word originally described the taste of the fruit's peel, but by the 16th century, orange was also the name of this bright color. Yellow is the color of taxis and school buses in many parts of the world, because it's the most visible color on the road. Like red, yellow is also used to warn people of dangerous situations. Because it attracts attention, yellow is used for highlighter pens. The bright color activates different parts of the brain that help the reader remember the highlighted text. Indigo is a dark color between blue and purple. Indigo clothing was a sign of luxury in the past. Because indigo dye came from a rare plant, it was very expensive, and few people could wear clothes made with this dye. Now we use indigo dye to make blue jeans. Violet is a light purple color. It is one of the oldest colors in the world. There are violet cave paintings in France that are twenty-five thousand years old. However, in some countries, for example Thailand and Brazil, violet is the color of death. You've seen that color can change how we think of food, but it can also affect how we feel in different situations. We make strong connections with certain colors, even if we don't realize it. For example, red means danger. Therefore, the color red can make us feel nervous. Red also gets our attention. That's why warning labels use red text for the most important information. Other colors have different associations. Many people feel calm and relaxed when they see the color green. Green makes us think of nature, and that makes us feel peaceful. Like green. Blue might also make you feel calm, but blue and other dark colors can also make you feel depressed. When you're feeling sad, people might even say you're feeling blue. Bright colors like orange and yellow can have the opposite effect. Look around you now. Which colors can you see? How do they make you feel? Purple power, the history of one of the most popular colors. Purple is one of the most popular colors today. There are purple clothes, purple handbags, purple bicycles, purple furniture, even purple computers. But in the past, purple was a very expensive and unusual color. Let's take a look at the rich and sometimes dangerous history of the color purple. 
the very beginning. Some scientists believe that the first organisms to appear on Earth over 500 million years ago probably looked purple, not green. Plants today are green because they use green chlorophyll to produce energy. But these early organisms probably used something called retinol, which is a dark purple colour. 3,000 years ago During the time of the Roman Empire, it was very difficult to make purple dye. The dye came from sea snails. But 10,000 dead sea snails got you just one gram of purple dye, as well as a very bad smell. This special purple dye was called Tyrian purple, and it was the preferred colour of emperors. 500 years ago In 16th century England, purple was only for royalty. Queen Elizabeth I's clothes were purple, but ordinary people were not allowed to wear the colour. 150 years ago In 1856, William Perkin, an 18-year-old science student, noticed something strange while conducting an experiment. The chemicals he used to clean his equipment combined with the chemicals he used in his experiment, produced a bright purple colour. This discovery led Perkin to start a company using this chemical combination to make purple dye. The dye was much cheaper than the sea snail dye. Thanks to Perkin, now anyone can wear purple clothes.